Welcome everyone, in this video we will cover what's new in the Flutter 3.35, the latest release from the August 2025. This update brings powerful improvement for the productivity, accessibility and the developer experience. So let's get started. So in the Flutter 3.35 is a massive release with over 1100 commits from more than 160 contributors including 39 new ones. The focus this time is on the productivity, accessibility and the tooling. Release on August 14. This version is packed with update every Flutter developer will love. Or the first update we have in the web announcement. One of the biggest highlight that is the hot reload on the web is now stable and unable by default. You can still turn it off with the flag if needed. Another major update is in the WSM dry run feature which checked your app readiness for the web assembly and give you warning directly in the console. This means faster debugging, smoother development on the web. Next update we have with the accessibility and the UI improvement. Accessibility has taken a big leap forward. Flutter now supports semantic locales for the multi-language app and a new symmetric label builder for the dynamic announcements. There are also support for the off-screen silver with the silver ensure symmetric. On the UI side, we get new widget like drop-down menu form field, a scrollable navigation rail, and update to navigation drawer with the header and the footer. iOS also get a brand new cappuccino expansion tile widget. Next update we have with the rendering and the tooling. Rendering gets smoother with the impeller engine optimization making your graphic more consistent across platforms. Wizard preview are now available in the browser as an experimental feature helping you test UI without running the whole application. The Dart and the Flutter MSP server is now stable improving AI assisted code suggestion and the fixes. This is the big productivity win for the team. Next update we have for the platform update and the breaking changes. There are few important breaking changes. Minimum OS support is now iOS 13 and the Mac OS is 10.15. For the Android SDK it is 24 and the ratio widget has been redesigned. Form can no longer be used as a silver and the drop down button form field now use initial value instead of value. Make sure to review these if you are upgrading. Next, we have the developer sentiment. The community is excited about this release. On Reddit and the social channels, developers are calling hot reload on the web a game changer and they are also happy to see widget preview becoming stable. So our final thought to sum it up, Flutter 3.35 boosts productivity with stable web hot reload, add smaller accessibility features, introduce fresh UI widgets improve rendering with impeller and and enhance developer tooling with the ai integration so that's all in this video i hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video